This is Mr. Hack and Slash, Dark Monster Moon 87 here. And I have good news and I have bad news, which kind of fucked up my morning when I did wake up this morning. Um, basically, um, there was people hitting me up and they told me, you know, Tecmo Kogi America needs a PR. I think if they had a better PR... Um, they would make more sales promotion wise would be better and a PR basically in in the business world is somebody that promotes gaming or whatever type of promoting they're handling whether it's music or whatever like that so make a long story short I emailed them and everything and they didn't really even give me an opportunity to like answer any of the questions that I asked or nothing, they just said, basically, they just said no. They like, oh, we don't need nobody. Oh, no. No. So, if Tecmo Koei America doesn't need anybody, then why have the email to tell everybody, oh, hit us up, uh, we have slots open, whatever, whatever. So, I'm not gonna lie, I was highly upset because I'm like, this is messed up you know like i bust my ass i show a whole bunch of hack and slash gaming promoting um move sets that probably nobody just never seen before it's, it's not really on nobody's channel like if you look at all the walkthroughs and combo vids walkthroughs and chaos solos that i've made you can't compare them to any hack and slash channel because they're so different, you know? So you can't, you can't really compare that. But then, uh, I posted on Twitter how I felt about it. And honestly, it was kind of a dream crusher. It was like, you know, I, I thought I had this or whatever. And everybody was like, yo, you should do it. And everybody was cheering me on in the inboxes. And they say, yo, Tecmo Kobe America needs somebody like you because you're, you're so passionate about the company and everything. And for them to turn me down, it was just excuse my language, you know, because I'm really trying hard not to curse in this vlog this time to be more mature about it. But you know what? It's fucking hard. It, it really is. So everybody got worried on Twitter and a lot of other sites that I'm not going to even mention. I'm not going to throw them under the bus. But they worried because they're like, you know, Dark Monster Moon 87. He'll probably quit his channel and never do Hack and Slash Gaming or be Mr. Hack and Slash ever again. Like that, that name is, is with him. It's, it's, it sticks with him. And there's nobody like Dark Monster Moon 87. His... Gaming is unique. It's it's different. It's not the same old shit. And you know, everybody thought I was quitting, so I couldn't respond right away to none of them because I was working, and I was at a meeting, and the meeting at my job was it didn't make anything better. Put it that way. So Tecmo Kobe Europe hit me up, and they said, you know, we see your work and we appreciate it, and. Just know that at least our side of Tecmo Koei, we care about how hard you work and how passionate you are. Just keep working. Eventually, somebody will wake up and open their eyes and bring you in. And I'm hoping one day that does happen. I, I really am. Until then, I'm going to answer this question to everybody. For those of you that think that I'm going to quit, I'm not quitting at all. I'm going to keep making walkthroughs, making guides, making chaos solos, playing Dynasty Warriors 7 Empires, playing Dynasty Warriors 8, Ken's Rage 2. I'm going to be doing a lot of Tecmo Koei gaming and hack and slash, whatever is hack and slash, period. Because I'm never going to give up, even if Tecmo Koei America say, you know what? We don't, we don't need nobody right now and this, that, and the third. Like, you know what? If you didn't need anybody, then, then why make it seem like you did?
And honestly, like, I really, really wanted to put the email, like, the messages. I, I wanted to put them in this vlog, but I wasn't going to stoop down to their level. I, I really wasn't. I wasn't going to be like, you know what? Let me be childish about this. I, I wasn't going to do all that. But all I can tell you all is this. The biggest email I got from them was three sentences. I, I swear to God, it was three sentences. And, and I was just like. What the fuck is this? So basically, Tecmo Koei America, the reason why North America um, doesn't get certain games or whatever I mean, all the other Tecmo Koei sides, like Tecmo Koei Europe, Tecmo Koei Japan and everything, they're, they're doing their thing. But Tecmo Koei for North America is horrible. And they need better people to promote their stuff. Like, I had a couple of people go, hey, I went to GameStop and uh, Ken's Rage 2 wasn't there. And... To me, that's kind of messed up because I'm like, oh, there's so many people that want to get Ken's Rage 2 when it comes out in English. And GameStop is informing everybody saying that, oh, it comes out 2014. Well, I kind of blame that Tecmo Koei America because if they had better promoters and everything, GameStop wouldn't be saying it'll, it'll come out on 2014 and... Which is not. It's coming out February 5th, 2013. That's when it's coming out. It's coming out on disc for Xbox 360. And it's coming out on uh, digital download for PS3. PlayStation Network. Those of you that don't know what PlayStation Network is. I'll tell you about it. It's basically your... On your PlayStation 3 online, you have your own screen name and everything. And you go to the PlayStation Store and you can get it from there. Most likely, it's going to be like $50, $60. So, yeah, that's that's the way you can get it on PS3. Um, Pretty much, that's... And now you see me, I'm, I'm looking at the camera now, like I'm... <laughs> I, it just it just sucks. It, it really does, man. When you have, I have a big not to not to brag, but my fan base is huge. It's huge, and I appreciate all of you. I I love the hell out of every single one of you that supports me, that subs my channel, that views my vids, that leaves a positive comment, that just supports me to the fullest of their capability like you you guys don't even have to and the fact that you guys take the time out of your lives to just wait there and go yeah he usually uploads around this time so i'm gonna give him like five minutes and once he uploads i'm gonna check it out there's people that inbox me and, and it, it gets me i'm not gonna i'm not gonna lie it gets me kind of <laughs> it it just gets me flattered. I'm and happy as hell and full of joy, like tears of joy. And I'm like, you know, you you're inboxing me and you're telling me that I'm eating right now, dinner, and I can't help but watch your video because it's so entertaining, it's so interesting, and the commentaries like they're they're so honest, they're so truthful, and I've seen your first video. Your first walkthrough, your first guide, and when you had your other channel, and from going to that all the way through now, like your commentary sound different, you sound more professional, you kick a lot more ass, you, it's just everything's completely changed, and it's just surprising, it's shocking that you all take the time out of your hands to inbox me and leave me the biggest paragraph and tell me yo like please please don't ever give up if there's, there's a dream or something that you're trying to achieve and you're you're trying to work for Tecmo Kobe don't give up eventually they'll see it and everything 
and they'll look out. And I'm hoping that does happen one day. I'm I'm really hoping so. You know, I'm not. I'm not. I'm like I said. I'm not knocking all of the Tecmo Koei companies. I'm just upset about how Tecmo Koei America, which is a uh, the North America side, handled the way they handled that email with me. They didn't even give me the time of day. They didn't guide me or anything and gave me any type of advice or nothing. You know, you would think if somebody was really interested in a gaming company like that and explained so much that what they do, they would at least go, you know what, let me let me help you out. Let me give you a phone number to somebody. Let me hand you another email. Maybe this person could help and they work for such and such company, which is what us. But they didn't do none of that. They didn't. So shout out to Tecmo Koei Europe. Inspector Chen, Red, um, just everybody from Tech Bunko Europe, all of you, thank, thank you, thank you for noticing me, thank you for supporting me, and my brother that, that just started his channel, thank, thank you all for that, and thank you all that just support me in general. It, it means, it means a lot, like, I, I really work day day and night like especially when i get out of my job like this is my schedule i work once i get out of my job i'm having the time of my life with my little girl she's two years old so you know i'm chilling with my daughter and once it's like 12 midnight or sometimes even 11 30 at night and she's once she's asleep and everything and i'm done with everything I have to do around my apartment. Then I start working on these vlogs. I start working on the walkthroughs, the requests, the guides, and I don't sleep until most of that is done, until I have at least one, two, or even three walkthroughs in a day because that's how dedicated I am to working on my channel and to entertaining my viewers and subscribers and everybody that's a fan of Mr. Hack and Slash. So I would love to thank you all for watching this. I would love to thank you all for supporting me, for hitting that like button. Those of you that hit the dislike button or try to find any little thing to talk crap about. You honestly don't know a damn thing about me. You don't. And if you have that much time on your hands to do that, then it is what it is. I, I can't force you to, yeah, you better like it, motherfucker. I, I'm, that's just not me. I'm always going to be myself. I'm not going to change because that happened. And, you know, it is, it is what it is. I'm. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna bother. Like you know, I used to I used to get comments like that, like, oh uh I used to find that any little thing in a video. Any little thing. And I'm just like uh you know, back in my mind I'm like, you thought really hard about that because Wow. It's crazy, but back to this the matter at hand. Um I'm going to be working on, um, still going to be working on Warriors of Rochi 3 Hyper. I didn't forget about none of the requests or anything. It's just I've been working on a whole bunch of other stuff that I'm kind of late with that I wanted to upload, like uh, Sangoku Basura 3 Utagi, Sangoku Basura HD Collection. Then I have Ninja Gaiden 3 Razor's Edge and... Strike Force 1 and 2. I'm trying to catch up to everything that I used to have on my channel, but now it's going to be better quality. Excuse me. Better commentary. Better everything. For your viewing entertainment. Well, this is Dark Master Moon 87, Mr. Hack and Slash. And thank you all for watching. Peace.